Hello and welcome to day two of the everyday art journaling in the month of November challenge, also known as Nat No Jomo. And I'm starting out with a gessoed page in my Strathmore visual journal and a piece of creepy cloth from Halloween. It's the cream colored kind. And I'm putting a really liberal amount of collage podge matte down on my page um, because the creepy cloth is a uh, thicker like the fibers in it are really thick so I need a, a lot of glue and I did have a double layer of fabric but I peeled the one up so it's just the um, single layer now and I'm kind of pushing around some of the fibers with my paintbrush as I'm brushing more glue over top so it's sandwiched in there it's gonna take a pretty long time to dry but um, my hopes are that it'll look really cool once I add color, so the dry time is worth it. I, you could try to dry it with a heat gun, but you run the risk of getting bubbles. And, um, you know, sometimes that's okay if that's what you're going for, but sometimes that's not what you want. So I have Golden Fluid Acrylics in Teal, Thalo Blue, and Quinacridone Magenta. And I picked these colors because when they blend together, they make really nice other colors. Um, if you struggle with colors mixing and making mud, um, what I do is I have a color wheel. I printed it out from online and I just have it sitting above my desk and just glance at it quickly to make sure the colors that I'm choosing aren't gonna make mud when mixed together. And also you can make your own from the paints that you have, so it's an even better reference, but I just use one off the internet. So I'm adding the teal and then the magenta and kind of blending it together and it gets this really nice purple color where they meet. Now I'm adding the blue to the outermost corners and edges. And, um, this, it looks kind of spotty. The blue looks kind of spotty at this point, but I figure I'm going to cover it up. I don't have a plan at this point for how I'm going to cover it up, but I figure I'm going to darken the edges more anyway. So I'm just adding some water and getting that blue to mix with the other colors and adding some more teal. I'm just going back and forth with spraying with water and adding um, paint until I'm happy. Now I have a uh, mesh texture stamp from Viva Las Vegas Stamps, and I'm using some watering can archival ink and it's a gray color and you can't really see it and my paint wasn't really dry so as I was stamping the paint was getting on my um, stamp and you can't really see it anyway but it's subtle it's there you know whatever so I thought I'd go in with some I think I went in with the jet black the first time and now I'm going in with the watering can but it wasn't completely dry and I was getting paint on my stamp and then on my ink pad so this stamp is a Finnabar stamp. I think it's called Wire Net, and um, I'm using that with the jet black. And because it's a more bolder design than the mesh texture, you can see it a lot better. So I'm happier with this stamping than I was with the other. So I made sure that my page was completely dry, all the layers of paint and the ink and everything. And I'm going around the edges with a black gelato. I think the black one's called licorice. And I'm just drawing all around my page and then using my finger to blend it in towards the center. And I'm trying to get around all the, all the little bits of fibers and um, really work the color into the netting. And it takes a little effort, but um, I think it looks a lot better now that I added the black rather than just having the blue on the outside. It, re it really wasn't working for me just with the blue. But I really like the way the black catches on the creepy cloth. Now I have some uh, liquid glue and I'm using a paintbrush just to dab it around on my page. And then I have some super fine teal glitter. I have a product list in the description box below, but this particular glitter came from AC Moore when I was in high school. So like, uh, 
gosh, almost uh, more than 15 years ago. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, and now I'm going in with some golden, uh, what's this, um, the glass bead gel and using my palette knife to apply it so it catches on the texture of the creamy cloth. And then I'm also applying it to the outer corners and I'm applying it with a palette knife, but then I'm using my finger to kind of like uh, disperse it um, so it's not so clumpy, if that makes sense. And then I have these blue acrylic stars. They came in a Studio Calico Project Life kit like last year. So I don't think you can get them anymore. I did look online and I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, and I'm just pressing them into the wet glass bead gel. This is a stamp from Dina Wakely from her Grungy Star set. And I just had it laying on my desk and I thought, pop it on there and it looked, it looked okay. So that's what I'm gonna use. And um, I have this lime green thread. I got it from Walmart and it was on clearance for 50 cents and it's this really nice, vivid lime green color. I really like it. I haven't actually used it to sew yet. I've just used it for things like this, but I think it looks really cool. And then that star set also had um, a sentiment that says shine, so. And I'm sprinkling some more of that teal glitter all around the page so it catches on the wet, of the um, glass bead gel. So that's my page for today. You can see it here now that it's all dry, the glass bead gel dries clear. And I really like it, it's a lot of, a lot of texture. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, there's a complete product list in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.